All right, guys, so I'm going to show you where mine failed. The crack starts all the way here, comes all the way up and around. There's a chunk broken out of it right here, and then it continues in. So pretty much this whole half was broken, um, so that's where that issue was coming from. Now, as you can see, like I said earlier, this is a three into two into one. So it should increase torque, should increase horsepower compared to this guy. You can see that, you know, this is the main one. They made it fairly thick up here coming all the way down, but it's choked here. These come into it and the same is on that side. So that's where your flow is going to come into. And hopefully this thing will make some more power. And you can kind of see them next to each other right there. So I flipped them over and this has a nice thick ceiling gasket. It's all one solid piece, which that's what's the problem with these. They move and they move and they move and they move and they finally crack. You can see this one is welded right here. I don't know if that's factory or if someone else did that. It's welded on the back side. But hopefully this one will hold up and I will let you guys know if it does, if it fails or what happens. So we're just going to get this thing thrown back together. All right, guys, just to show you what I was trying to show you earlier, this right here is the bolt for the pulley that comes in from the front. So this is the stop. So you got to loosen that. And then when you turn this guy, it just turns this rod up and down. Uh, you can see it's a little, little uh, loose because we have it loose at the moment. But... When you turn this guy up here, this will turn this block, and that's what tightens and loosens your belt. So then when you put it back together, you tighten this guy, you tighten this one, and you are good to go. Or not, not necessarily tighten it, but tighten it till your belt's tight. This is a manual tensioner, so that's how you end up using that. So we got this thing all cleaned up. We're getting ready to put the gasket and the exhaust header on. Basically, you just want to slide this gasket over. Uh, both ends have a stud on them, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to slide it on, and then you want to push it around. They have dowel pins as well, and then we're going to just slide the header on and put the uh, two end studs, in, or the nuts to the studs on. All right, guys, so you want to make sure that you have your donut on the bottom, and kind of just set that in place well, down there. And then just slide it on to the dowels, or slide it on to the studs, I should say. And try lining up your down pipe too right away because it does make a difference. There you go. Oh, sure man, boys. Look at that. I'm actually going to tighten down the ends of the manifold, make it easy. I'm going to tighten down these two bolts snug, not crank them, but just snug for now. And then I'm going to put those on at the collector there because it'll be a lot easier doing it now than trying to do it. I can at least reach the top hole from now before the intake goes on. So Alright boys, you heard it. We're going to tighten the studs down and we're going to tighten up the downpipe. Because they need to be tight anyway and there's no way for them to move to begin with. So we're going to give them a good old snug and we'll, we'll torque them when we get to the end. Man, I can't believe how beautiful this looks, guys. Uh, I just wanted to note, make sure you clean your gasket surface. We did. I forgot to mention it, I believe. So clean it with whatever you got. Sandpaper, you know, scotch Sprite. We use roll lock discs on an air sander. Whatever you got, razor blades, just make sure you clean it off with brake clean as the last step, and you'll be good to go. So we have the downpipe connected. Everything is fitting great. So next thing to go in is the intake manifold. So I didn't show you too much of putting all this together. Just put it together the same way you took it apart. Uh, you know, nothing's changed yet. It bolts in just like a factory, uh, you know, 98 and down the intake manifold will. It's a shame because the header is completely covered. You just see the tops here and you see the front pipe. So it's, it's a shame, but it is what it is. So Wayne's over here putting some uh, silicone compound or you can use Vaseline, uh, Silglide, you know, whatever. You just want to lube up those O-rings so when you put them on, you don't, they don't get caught and rip because you'll end up with a whole bunch of issues then. Vacuum leak will cause a big vacuum leak if you get an O-ring leak. 
So he's just cleaning those out and then we'll slide this bad boy in. Now remember, these are the original injectors and original fuel rail going into this 99 and up intake. That's pretty much it. And there you are, it's in, we're gonna bolt her down. So I watched a lot of videos of how guys did this and they were like extending stuff and they were like, you know, cutting stuff and I was like, I really don't wanna do that. So what we did was we moved the sensor back here uh, which this is just all one big cavity. There's no baffling. There's no nothing. So as long as it's in the intake, you're fine. So up here is where we move the brake booster to. We move this uh, from here to over there, and we changed this to a small nipple. It was a big nipple, and we ran that to here, which used to run back to there. Uh, that's going to get a filter on it because my filter used to be up here because of my intake. And then we put a 90 degree on there and we cap that guy and then for this guy right here we just uh, took it off up there move the um, check valve down to here and everything's real clean i didn't want to cut anything it is a jeep it does see winter it does see some mud it sees dirt roads and i just don't want to have connections that don't need to be there and there's really no reason to do that guys so just move stuff around where you need it to be steal fittings off the old one like we did and move the ones around on here and you'll be good to go so we're pretty much done we just got to throw the throttle body back on and the intake the power steering's got to go back on but other than that we're we're almost done guys well it's done it freaking sounds awesome it used to sound awesome it sounds different now it sounds way different it's got more of a growl to it uh, basically the exhaust is a side exit and it's just a glass pack nothing else on it still got the factory cat and all that so I hope this video helped you guys please hit that like button comment down below if you have any questions or if this helped you that would be awesome and don't forget to check the description for our decals. We have well over 100 decals listed now. So we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.